Hello world, welcome to Cybergate Studio. Today, we're gonna to talk about back to school tech, Windows edition. Okay, first up here is the Anchor. Of course, you gotta have your portable power. This is so important, especially when you are out and about and use your back-to-back -back classes. See, I, I took, uh, I went to Georgia Tech, I took aerospace engineering, and I was in back-to-back -back classes and labs, and then immediately going meeting uh, people for uh, to study, and just constantly in the library, and I wouldn't go back to my, my dorm for a long period of time. So this is the Anchor Power Core 13, no, 12, 12 or 13, 13,000. <laughs> um, it's a very nice battery. It's got two ports here. One has the uh, IQ. Um, I don't think the other one does. Um, I think some of the newer models does have it. And um, it's got the micro USB input. And the cool thing, you got a little button here that uh, shows you its power. Now I feel like I can charge up my phone like a ridiculous amount of times on this. Like I've never actually depleted this thing and I've charged like a phone, a tablet, my wife's phone, then my phone again. Like I feel like I've been able to just pump out power like crazy. Um, honestly, I use the A6500 and so I power my A6500 while I'm on movie shoots with this. Yeah, this is, this is what keeps me going. Uh, so I recommend this and this will actually show up in some other videos. Moving on to the next thing. Um, as a college student, I realized that I needed a lot of storage uh, and oftentimes I couldn't afford getting that storage in my device. So you know how like when you go and buy like uh, laptops or MacBooks and stuff, it's like, all right, you get your specs, you get everything but the storage. And the storage, to get what you want in storage, it's another four, five, six, eight hundred, if you're Apple, thousand dollars just to add the storage you want. So instead you buy that 256 gig model and you go and buy something like an external SSD or a spinning, uh, spinning drive. So if budget's not a concern for you, then this is the way to go. Uh, these, this is the Samsung T3. They just released the Samsung T5. Um, I'm honestly not sure what the difference is. I haven't really looked into it since this thing's doing the job for me. This is 256 gig. Um, I also need things like this for storage. This is a terabyte, but it's a spinning disk. Um, this is a 72... That doesn't say on here, but I think it's the 7200 RPM, so it's a bit faster than some of the other ones. Um, but it's it's pretty solid. It's got a it's got plastic, but it still it just feels nice. I don't know if you can hear that. The textures it just it feels nice, um, but it is still plastic. Uh, but it is a USB C connection, and it goes USB to USB C. Um, but it also can do USB C to USB 3.0 or 3.1 because technically it is a 3.1 drive. Um, but this is enough to edit 4K at 100 megabits per second. Um, if you're, I mean, transfer speed. This thing's not like six to 800 or anything crazy like that. Uh, but anyway, these are some great drives. This is 250. This one's 256. Uh, this one's one terabyte, and they are fast enough to meet needs, small enough to carry, uh, especially this one is super small, super robust. You can drop it and won't, supposedly won't be damaged. This thing's been pretty robust so far. This one you gotta be more careful about because it is a spinning disc. If you can help it, don't buy spinning discs, but you know, I have one. The Sometimes the budget to storage ratio is just you just gotta do it. A word of caution, do not plug random USB sticks into your computer. Uh, and before I go into the laptop, the MX, what is this, MX Anywhere 2 mouse. This I know there's a new one that came out, but I don't have it. This one's been serving me really well. Uh, it's got um, Bluetooth, but it also has a dongle that you can put into your computer if like, for example, I have a desktop at home, um, but then I use a laptop. And of course, all laptops these days have Bluetooth. And so you can have, it's got a cool little switching feature. Um, throwback to my, uh, my Surface uh, keyboard video where I complained that it was only Bluetooth. This is why I was complaining. is because I have multiple computers at home. I've got this guy where I just press a little button here and it will switch profiles. I switch to profile two or three, depending on which computer I'm using. It's got a little USB dongle since my desktop i built it i didn't go and splurge the extra money on a on a high-end motherboard that had bluetooth and i didn't buy a usb dongle i know it's not that big a deal it's not that expensive but this came with it and most importantly this can switch between them so i don't have to repair i'm not controlling both computers you know it's not one profile to where it'll connect to bluetooth on one of them and i have to do a bunch of manual stuff no it's it's just easy it's a press a button 
and now I'm on a different computer with it. It's that easy. Um, so that's kind of what I was hoping for. That's fantastic about this guy. The battery life is really good. It's got, uh, it comes with its USB, uh, micro USB charger, not, you know, it's not USB-C. You know, a lot of things are going to USB-C right now, but it's not, you know, not the end of the world. Um, and then it's got, of course, the back buttons here, but it, it's, it is a definitely right-handed mouse. Um, for the most part, it actually kind of, it's sculpted in a way that I don't, I don't think it'd be a big deal to use left-handed, uh, but you wouldn't have the same access to the buttons. So I think it's a right-handed mouse, but anyway, solid mouse. And finally is the laptop I recommend. So as you saw from my Surface Pro 4 video, I said it's a fantastic laptop. It's one of the best laptops I've ever used. It is solid, it is fast enough. Um, it is a dual core, so it's an ultrabook, but it is powerful enough to edit um, you know, in Premiere some uh, you know, relatively basic, you know, very YouTube type videos. Uh, if you're doing something more with a lot of like After Effects or like a huge amount of uh, nested videos, for college students, unless you're doing some like film editing, serious, serious editing, like more than YouTube editing, this thing will do just fine. You know, I mean, unless your YouTube style videos include a lot of special effects uh, or your YouTube video is to teach you how to do special effects. Well, obviously you won't be using a Surface Pro 4. Um, but anyway, walking around campus, the battery life is solid. Um, it goes anywhere from like six to eight hours for me. Uh, you know, if, depending on your usage, of course you can kill it down to four hours. Um, but I don't think you'll re usually get less than four hours unless you're really gaming on it. Um, but it can handle, handle StarCraft too. It can handle League of Legends, you know, some of the easier stuff out there. Uh, but it's a solid laptop. It's got a good, really color accurate screen. Um, definitely buy the type cover. You have to buy a type cover. Uh, and then, you know, workflow wise, you've got the pen. Um, and I'm actually going to do a video about OneNote um, and the workflow that I use or used to use for the Surface Pro 4. But the fact that the pen is there, you've got the, the keyboard, you got a full laptop. Um, it's got the hinge to be able to just, you know, go all the way down. I've got a D brand skin on here to make it a bit more for me. That's what I recommend laptop wise. Uh, I know there are other cheaper versions, cheaper options out there. Um, I guess the main sentiment I want to put out with why I chose this device was, I mean, this is like the ultimate portability for it. This is definitely tablet territory. Definitely, you know, in fact, I would actually put this on par with, this is somewhere between like an iPad Pro and a MacBook 13 inch. Like it's just like the baseline 13 inch kind of thing. It's, it's very, if you're, if you're to equate it to that, it's portable like an iPad, but it does more than an iPad because it's a full Windows operating system. But it's an ultra book, it's in a tablet form factor, you know, low power draw. So it's very much in this weird space that just seems to be absolutely perfect for college students. Um, or even just standard business users who run around in meetings all day, like product managers. This is a good device for you. Um, super light, I can just slip it on my laptop, most messenger bags, even like the smaller messenger bags, you know, some of some women's purses that are a little bit on the larger side, this thing just slips in anywhere. I think it's awesome. Um, but if you're like, if you want the HP Spectre or some of the other stuff, the main point is that it is digital. Um, if you're an old school person, you like the pen and paper that's on you. That's great. Not knocking it, but that's not for me. The workflow that's full digital like that means you can have your book, your notes and your homework all being done on one device. This is a great device and I think other ones like it are, are what you want for school. Um, unless you have very specific needs that you know about, you know, disclaimer there. But um, in general, this is the way to go. Um, go ahead and hit that like button if you liked it uh, and let me know what kind of videos you want in the future. Um, I'm gonna do, a, probably I'm gonna do a Mac version of this. So go ahead and like and subscribe for more content coming your way. Peace.